Welcome back, guys. Thank you, everyone. To Batman. A district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Seems a little two-faced, if you know what I mean. My campaign's largest backer could have heard that applause. He would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Awkward. Welcome to Mayor to Wayne Manor. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Well, you'll change, all right. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. <laughs> you are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. <laughs> with courage before facing your adoring public? This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. I always new face for like Gotham. Our somewhere. hope is in Harvey. Which put a dent record, in crime. Not been since before law school. A new face would be funny know, because it's ironic, about, but I'm gonna uh, say, put a dent in crime. <laughs> That's you, so awful. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. That's so I'm awful. Meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. That is an awesome house. Or manor, I guess is what you would call it. The Wayne Manor. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. <laughs> I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should fluff together, you know. Like birds. <laughs> You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, what a kiss up! luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Well, this is awkward. Regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get 
creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. Well, thank you both. There we go. Good stuff. Just earned him a vote. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Although technically, we don't really want that to happen. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private <laughs> fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Smooth. Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Oh my gosh, let's go! Laying it down! You've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Shoot. Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? <laughs> hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Oh no! Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. We should not have let her stay. And what I also don't think she appreciated my my mag daddiness. controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe you can change your mind. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. We should probably no, kick him out too, but I kind of want to start up some shit. Elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Cold shoulder. Carmine Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. 
Oh shit, everybody's looking. Oh You're a man. Respectable man, I hear. Refusing. Not after you just dissed me in my house. Perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I'm not gonna shake your hand in front of everybody. Get the hell out of here. You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Hobbs. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. I'll bring Bruce back to you soon. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. This is big boy business. Nice. Get out of here. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. That's not He's true at all. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can... Pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? I ain't okay, your bitch. Imagine this. That's what happened me. to it. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane. Before you have a head-on collision. That's good advice. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Brooding. Let that Tough. Speak. It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce, while this city's still standing. Interesting. All right. Well, I can't really tell if we uh, made a new friend or an enemy there. I feel like it's kind of still in the balance. But I'll see you guys in the next part, part three.